Hello, this screencast is to demonstrate or explain uh, osmosis a little bit better, I think. We'll, ha we'll have a different approach to it. So, initially we're starting off with a Java applet from Ohio University. They've got the website displayed at the top, so um, they get the credit for the animation, and you can have a look at it yourself on the internet if you would like to. Right, I'm going to remove the lid and the particles that were confined in a concentrated space will spread out through natural random chance movement. It's much more likely the particle will move away from the concentrated area than towards it. It is possible that if we watch this for a long time the particles could at some point all end up back where they started in the middle pot, uh, but it's much more likely through random chance that the movement will allow them to stay spread out and that is basically diffusion chance movement that leads to movement from a concentrated area to a less concentrated area. Now as you know osmosis is a special case of diffusion so if I close that we'll look at, at my example. Uh, now what we're going to do is going to play a game which is to randomly move particles from one side to the other. So we'll start. Uh, now what I've got to try and do is not pick specific colours, just randomly pick circles that are available to move. And if we do that, we should find that um, after a period of time particles become mixed. And although we have roughly the, we have the same number of particles on either side, we don't have all of one colour on one side and all of the other colour on the other side because by chance particles will move from a concentrated area to a less concentrated area. Okay, now let's try a slightly different version of the game. Now we're going to give a couple of details here. The green particles are water and the red particles are sugar and at the moment this is just a membrane it will allow water and sugar to go through it. it's just a normal membrane so we play the same game we started with 12 particles on either side and we will end up with 12 particles on either side but what will happen well we're randomly moving particles across so try not to pick them based on color and we will find that we have created a mixed sample. We've got um, particles of green and red on both sides and we've still got equal numbers of particles on each side. So we have allowed uh, an unmixed sample to become mixed by diffusion. Okay, next example. We now have what we call a semi permeable membrane that only lets very small molecules through so that's actually only going to let water through it's not going to let the sugar through and we play the same game now the, the way we play it this time is that I can move particles and select particles in each side but if I select the sugar game over for that side so that side still gets a go oh can't do that one that guy gets a go that one could go across this time it goes across oh can't go through so it loses its go and you see what happens here oh can't go through we end up with the water molecules being equally distributed on either side Ooh. but the sugar molecules stay on one side so what we end up with is oh there we go more particles of water going from left to right I can't go across sorry than from right to left. Okay, so we'll stop at that point. So what we've got is now we started off with 12 particles on either side, but we've now got more water particles on this side because they've moved from an area of high concentration to what was an area of low concentration of water. Now let's apply that to an example. At the bottom here, we've got a semi permeable membrane. And in part two of this cast, I will explain what is happening at this semi-permeable membrane uh, to run the result that we see in this experiment. So join me in part two.